Hi, uh, welcome back to another Floss Tube. Um, my name is Hazel. I actually remember to say it this time. Um, my channel is called Stella Punk Stitches. Um, and there's, there's a few more of you now, isn't there? Um, hi. <laughs> going to explain why I named it Solar Punk Stitches, which is because I like the the idea of the like solar punk aesthetic scene, I don't know. But for those of you who haven't heard of it, solar punk is it started out as like a kind of an aesthetic thing, I think. Uh, around the internet, you know, stuff like cottagecore and um, cyberpunk and that kind of thing. It's it's like similar to that, but it's not. It's not really just an aesthetic, I guess. Like there is kind of an ideology, you'd call it, that goes along with it. But um, yeah, anyway, I just it, it's kind of about um, being. I don't know, sustainability and design and um, kind of general, um, <laughs> oh, it's difficult to explain. Um, I, anyway, yeah, if you look up solar punk, you'll probably find lots of images of um, like green cities and like Art Nouveau type designs that uh, that are kind of natural forms and um anyway i i just liked the idea i guess um it and it but then i guess there is the punk part which implies um kind of re resistance against something like um but in this case like against the kind of system of exploiting things and uh mending stuff so not like consuming more things but anyway um it's i i liked that and i that's fits in with my general philosophy of how i try to do things um and it is just a catchy name and i liked it so like i'm not like <laughs> i'm not like the um I don't know if you can be like a solar punk, but I I just liked the theme, so that's that's why I named my channel Solar Punk Stitches. Because I suppose although cross stitch doesn't necessarily have a lot to do with the aesthetic, it is still it's making something yourself, like making something with your hands, and and that's a big part of it. And then I do other stuff like the natural dyeing and the playing around with it just I just like making things like I said textile gremlin so that's that's what it is um yeah so I got shouted out as the floss tube kids are calling it by a couple of people and that is why I have suddenly gained a lot of new viewers which is exciting and like kind of weird for me because I was used to like a few nice people watching my videos and, and that was nice uh, and now all well, you guys are here so hey um, so the first one was um, Christy's Corner who is really cool she's um, we haven't like really met I get how how do you meet someone on the internet like when do you officially call yourself like oh that's my friend <laughs> I don't know but she's very cool and uh you should go check out her channel if you don't know her which is down below she does embroidery and she's like a professor of medieval history um and a, a yeah a very cool human being she made this embroidered like mixed media painted um embroidery of uh an like an image from Hildegard of Bingen who was like a, a medieval mystic and it was just like mind 
blown into a thousand tiny pieces. Um, yeah. And then the second person that shouted me out is Michelle Bendy. Michelle Bendy Stitches. That's her channel name. Um, yeah, who is a like kind of a a big deal in the floss tube world apparently. Um, and so she also mentioned me in her thing. She talks about people who have under one thousand subscribers, which is most definitely me. Um, and and she also like went through my videos and commented all, on all of them, which was really nice of her. Um, yeah, so so she did that, which was really nice. Uh, and then I woke up the next morning and I looked at my phone and it was like, oh, you have like two hundred and fifty new subscribers or something. And I was like, okay, that's a thing. <laughs> so yeah, hi everyone who is new to watching me ramble about stuff and also show cross stitch and I'm gonna get to that in a minute um so uh, don't worry I mean you can just skip this whole introductory bit if you want and and just look at the cross stitch I would to be honest I I don't really know half of what I've said so yeah oh yeah that's another thing uh michelle also called me i believe she described me as deliciously awkward which i like i that's fair that's fair it's accurate i won't contest that <laughs> uh yeah so um i do quite a bit of cross stitch at the moment i also knit i sew i spin um i play around with dyeing things and making things out of other things um so I put that on here as well because this is my videos and I can do that if I want to hey <laughs> um so if you're interested in that stick around at the end I also did some kind of vlog type clips because some of the people I watch do that and it's really nice like another nice aspect of Lost tube is you get to see little windows into other people's lives in different corners of the world and it's really nice so I, I did a few clips and things and I'll put those at the end and I hope you enjoy them okay I'm very organized today I actually cleared off my table <laughs> which is was very dusty and I've been putting my projects on that so that's yeah <clears throat> awkward uh and i made a list of like all the things i actually worked on and like wrote down what i wanted to talk about so yeah uh let's go uh the first thing i have in front of me is actually something i haven't worked on in a while it was in like my first whip parade um this i was working on before i got super back into cross stitch um and then I got super back into cross stitch and it kind of fell by the wayside a bit. Um, but yeah, when I said the water lily pond was my oldest whip, I was in fact lying because this is, and this is um, a hard anger piece. And ha, you know, when I said I was organized, yeah, um, I actually didn't get out any of the cover pictures or anything. So, um, just a sec. Okay, <laughs> so it is called the Whispers of Love Sampler by Loopy Lee Designs. I got this at Harrogate Knitting and Stitching Show quite a long time ago. It's been a few years, I can't remember. Anyway, um, this is what I want. Oh, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I wasn't that crazy about the colours on this, honestly. I just bought it because I wanted to learn the technique. And then I, <laughs> I put a picture of this on Instagram. Um, recently and somebody commented on it oh I love the colors and then I was just like yeah actually you know what me too those are great colors so it's funny how that can just validation from somebody else can change your mind about something and I, I got quite far with this I finished the first part of it let me see if I can focus that for you Okay, so I don't know if you're able to see that too well. 
but I did all of the cut work. So, I'll find a good background for it. There we go. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, it was terrifying, to be honest, at first. <laughs> like, it, you have to get over the instinct of don't cut into your embroidery that you've spent hours and hours on. Um, but once you've done that, it's just like nothing. Like, you're just like, yeah, snip, snip, snip. I don't care. <laughs> um, it's, it's great. I really enjoyed doing this. So I, hopefully I can work on that more and actually finish it, um, this year because that would be great. And then I, I've got loads of ideas for, for Hardanger now. Like, I think I mentioned I wanted to, to embellish like a skirt with it um i yeah so so many things like a collar would be really cool like that's all the things all the ideas but i will finish this one first um yeah so i just love all of this cut work in here and then these i they're called i think the stitch is called a greek cross that was really interesting to do. So yeah, super fun. Okay, um, I also worked on my bringer of stars. Um, which you saw last time. I'm really loving this and I, I would like to finish it like soon-ish maybe, I hope. Uh, this is what it looked like last time. And here is how it looks now. Oh, I forgot to show you. Uh, also, that is the whole design. So, yeah, here I am now. I finished this whole wing, which is great. There's a, there's backstitch all over this, so it will be even more defined. But I actually love how it looks with the shading in that, just without the backstitch. Sorry, the light is... It's a very bright day, um, and it's kind of awkward in here but there you go oh it's because I'm covering the window sorry just works out that I have to like actually shut the window and block out the light from it because otherwise it will mess with the light that is in here so bringer of stars I love owls there's just something about them I just got a fantastic pattern that is owl related that I will show you later. So that one's really fun. And it's coming along nicely. I thought I would get bored with all of that white and beige, but no, it was actually really relaxing. Next one. I've been meaning to get to for a while, but just haven't. It is the old melody by Mareshka. So this this is in fact, uh, as far as I can tell, a Ukrainian company that moved their manufacturing to Poland, which is why it says made in Poland. So <laughs> there you go, some detective work. Um, that is what it's going to look like. So weird, I love it. Just feels very like autumnal wintery to me. I don't know, it gives me the same kind of feeling that reading The Hobbit gives me. Um, that might sound like a weird comparison, but it's that same kind of autumnal adventure type feel. Yeah. And this is what it looked like last time. And here he is now. So I, I don't know if you can see, 
but I started, I worked across here, finished his face and then across here and started the moon. So I haven't finished the moon, but the moon is underway, which is a sentence that I didn't think I'd be hearing myself say today. <laughs> And I have yet to do a lot of the backstitch. Um, it's still a very small amount of the design. But yeah, as you know, I like large projects, so good times. There he is. Very mercurial. So that's old melody. And hopefully I'll get to that one a bit more often when I finish a couple of things, as I hope to do. Uh, I worked quite a lot on my Death by Cross Stitch, which, if you haven't seen it by now, <laughs> it looks like this. And this was it last time. And here we are. It always comes out fantastic on the camera, so <laughs> glad about that. Oh, I just realised I haven't been giving any details, but I think everything that I've talked about so far has come from a kit, so I've just used everything that came with the kit but this one uh, is on 40 count natural linen using um, two, one over two uh, using Mercedes silk um, because that was the only seller that I could find in Europe in the whole of Europe who did hand dyed uh, six stranded silks and they're beautiful so here we go I know that um, Silks For You do amazing hand dyed silks, but they're in Australia and it would cost me quite a bit to have something shipped from literally the other side of the world. Um, plus, like, I like to buy things more locally if I can. So, if I ever end up in Australia again, I will definitely try and grab something from them. So I basically filled in a lot up here. I really love this border with like the half, the kind of Scandinavian flower motif here. So that is beautiful it's a joy to work on just it's just the one color is, is quite simple but then it's not exactly complicated but it is very fine work because of the 40 count and, and the one strand and it's just something about that combination of like working on, on fine counts just is really absorbing for me. I don't think I could do everything on that small account but <laughs> um, I'm really really enjoying that one. And I actually worked on that a few times this month. Not that you can tell because it grows fairly slowly but um, it's just it's always loads of fun and one day <laughs> in the distant future I will finish it and I will get the scroll frame back. So on to what have I done? Ah so the last couple of cross stitch related things that I worked on were my chatelaine that is the Alhambra Garden mandala which will look like this and this is where it was the last time I did a first shoe uh, 
which was about a month ago. And every time I like show this one to people, I just, I just get such a look of glee on my face. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm stitching a chaperone. I wanted to do that for years. So here it is. I'm really, really close to finishing the middle parts, minus the beads and the special bits. Oh, but I really, really want to bead this centre because it's all sparkly blue beads because it's a, a pool, a pond in the middle of this courtyard. But I must wait because I'm stitching this in hoops. If I finish Death by Cross Stitch before this, I can put it on a scroll frame, but we'll see. I could get another scroll frame, but that's a bad idea because I have limited space. The colours are so beautiful. And hopefully next time I will have this part done and I can move on to some of the purple staircase corridor things, which would be exciting exciting for me anyway. <laughs> they lead a quiet life. Although I've been pretty, my, it's, it's about to get a lot less quiet because in September I will be going back to university for two years. I'm doing a conversion masters to occupational therapy. So I will be a student again and it'll be very full on. Like when I was an undergrad I had a fair bit of time but um no, <laughs> this one is going to be placements and assignments and just a lot of work. I think there's only going to be like three weeks off a year, maybe, um, maybe a bit more, but it's going to be quite full on. So <laughs> less stitching time when that happens. So I'm trying to get as much in now as I can. And the, uh, yeah, so I, I had to do so much because I have to get a... DBS check, um, for which for those of you who don't live in the UK is just it's like a check of your record to see if you have any convictions or anything that you have to do before you can work with um, any kind of vulnerable person or child. Um, so I have to do that, but my passport expired last year, so I need another passport to prove my identity, and that costs seventy five pounds and. So I decided I have to do that. Um, I've got to renew my driving license because that expires this month and I need both of those to prove my identity for this DBS check because the post office doesn't accept birth certificates as a form of identity and I have to go to the post office to certify my documents. So even though I can use my birth certificate as a proof of identity for the DBS, I can't because I have to get them certified at the post office because the uni is closed because of the pandemic. So it's just, it's, just, it's a lot of bureaucracy to wade through. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> unscheduled uh, trip into my life aside. Um, this is the last thing that I have worked on recently and it is the Gecko Rouge mermaid artwork by Medusa Dollmaker. This is just one of my favourite images ever, ever. Oh, and again, just so much fun to work on. This is where it was last time. And this is where it is now. So you're probably going to not see a huge amount of progress like video to video on this because I need a, a fair amount of variety and um, I tend not to spend loads of time on on the same project but um, I, I love this and it's such a different kind of stitching to my other projects so that's really enjoyable Tiny. This is on 25 count, uh, easy guide, that's what I got, um, which they, they only sell kits so that's what they provide. So we have these fish 
that are done. And then this is the beginning of her arms. So I've started stitching the mermaid, which is awesome. We have us like 185,000 stitches in this of some such, so it's gonna be a while. <laughs> we could be here a while, are you sitting comfortably? Um, yeah, just for comparison, that's the, I'm still only on the second page. I got to 3%. That was my goal, to go up another percent. And I did it, but we're still not even finished the second page. So, watch this space and keep watching it for quite a while. <laughs> so that's all the things that I've worked on recently. Um, apart from, well, I'm currently working on the Dreamer. So that's where she is now. I'm putting some flowers in her hair. Um, but I just thought I'd quickly show you that, but because it's not really, I haven't done very much on it. I just started working on it yesterday. So there you go. <laughs> now, if I was smart, I would not have put down all of the stuff that I've showed you on top of my notebook, which had my notes of what I was going to talk about next in it. <laughs> but I'm not smart, so <laughs> one sec. Haul, stash, that kind of stuff. Um, no, no new starts or anything. Like I, again, going back to being a student. Like, and this month has been expensive. What with having to renew everything, so. I'm not going to be getting a lot of new stuff um, <laughs> for the foreseeable future, um, but I have enough projects to keep me busy for quite a while, so that's not a problem. Um, I did get a couple of things. One of them was actually from last month, but I forgot to show it. Um, this is another Gecko Rouge kit. Uh, it is this. I let me take the card out actually because of glare there you go that's better I just love the colors in this it's another Lorna Lane um I have her Robin kit already um you probably saw in my whip what you can see if you wish in my whip parade um so I, I'm gonna finish that before I get to this but I just really wanted to um, and yeah, that's one of the ones I'm still in at the moment is there. Um, that's like the only subscription thing I'm in at the moment is the Gecko Rouge one because it, it just spreads. The, there's a lot of these that I want to get and it spreads the cost, um, quite well. So, um, yeah, this is the latest one that I got from them and it's amazing. I, I wasn't that sure about this when I first saw it, and then it really grew on me. Um, I just think it's very cool, and it was the colours that did it. I, if you haven't noticed, I like green. <laughs> I'm basically a feral moss woman. So, yeah, that, that was an easy sell to me. <laughs> That's so beautiful, and I would love to have it on my wall. Um, yeah, so that came in another kit, uh, 25 count. And yeah. graceful, as always. There are the colours. <laughs> so yeah, I'm saving that one for when I just really, really feel like I'm start, like maybe if I've had a bad day or something and I just want to start something new and feel the buzz of new thing and then put new thing away for two years. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, the other thing I got was a pattern. Um, I am, oh, I'm trying desperately to not let myself start this until I have space for it. But um, I came across this on Instagram. Um, I just had to like grab my laptop to check the, the names because I couldn't remember. So I first came across this on Instagram and I, I just saw it and I was like, 
where can I find that? Because I must. Um, this is the chart that I got. It's called Witch and it is by a Ukrainian designer, I believe, called Alexander Sergenko, based on an illustration by Svetlana Balak. Um, and I got it on the website uastitches.com, which I will link down below. And that was a bit of a journey because I saw it on Instagram, but um, the text underneath was all in Cyrillic, which I don't read. So I just, I, I went to, I think the profile of the person who posted it, who I thought was the designer, but actually isn't. And then I clicked on a link to uastitches.com um, and the website is totally in Ukrainian, uh, but Google Translate will do you a solid. Um, it, I was able to navigate it fine and buy the chart, um, which is, is pretty reasonable. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's a whole series of these amazing like dark whimsical owl like dark whimsy i think is something i'm really drawn to um and yeah this, so there's this whole series and i kind of want to do all of them but the the witch one was the one that i picked to get first because it's amazing and i just yeah um <laughs> if i was an owl i would be that owl. So I am gonna love doing that one when the time comes. And they have loads of lovely beautiful designs on their website so definitely go check it out. And that is all of the cross stitch related things so if you were here for that thank you for coming I will see you anon. And if you are interested in the other things that are not cross stitch, then um, I'm going to show you some knitting. So this is the same thing that I was knitting in my last video. It's not finished yet, but it is lace weight. So, you know, give me a break. <laughs> I have almost finished the middle section. So... I think I had about this much when I showed you last. And now here we are. I have about three repeats of this middle section to go. And then I will start decreasing back down for the last, the final third of the shawl. This pattern is Hat for Harriet by Kate Davies. And it's just like a simple wrap around shawl with a lace repeat border. Just just yarn over, knit two, to, uh, yarn over and um, decrease lace. So eventually it will kind of ah like that. That's the one. <laughs> it's one of the ones that you can wear like this and wrap around and. Ah. Ah, the other part will come down here and you know it's just it will be fantastic i i am not showcasing this in the most um flattering way that i possibly could but you get the idea uh, this color is beautiful it's from um i've got the yarn from a local dyer to me who is lamington lass yarns on Etsy and I will also link that down below if I can remember but I should and that is what I have been knitting and it's a great thing to just tote around like back and forth when I'm uh, something to take with me when I stay with my boyfriend because his flat is not very conducive to doing cross stitch like there's not there's not really any spare surface uh, for me to put, like, arrange my cross-stitching on, so I normally take knitting. 
and it's great for that um because i just have the pattern repeat memorized and then i also was making a cloak last time for a very good friend and i finished that cloak and i have sent it off and they've received it and it's all good um, but here is me in the cloak just so i can show off the thing that i made <laughs> Uh, it, yeah, it's fantastic. I might have to make another one for myself because cloaks are a lot of fun, as it turns out. <laughs> and um, that might be the most hashtag cottagecore I've ever looked in my life. Um, I just, I feel like I'm a representative for the fairy tale characters association in that interview, uh, in that um, picture. So, uh, that is about it. Um, I have no idea how long this is going to be, but it's been really nice to show you the things. Um, and I'm going to just put a little vlog here of some of the things that I've been seeing, like May into June. Um, yeah, it's, it's just been really nice to take some little clips and remember some of the little moments that happened that, that were really nice just kind of peaceful moments of just kind of peaceful moments that happened so i will see you later i hope you enjoy this little vlog thing that's gonna happen and thank you very much for watching my video and just hanging out for a bit um bye look at these little tiny pears they're so amazing hey girls And off. <laughs> oh my god, they're so nervous. This is Aqualegia or Granny's bonnet. Oh. I'm always terrified I'm going to disturb a bee in here. And strawberries. Broad beans. 